Moving on, the Cincinnati Bengals, 6-10 and 10 last year. Uh, finally, Marvin Lewis, gone. We, we did not know when that was going to happen, but last year, to win the division championship, they were plus 1,400. Their strength of schedule is number 24 in the league. Turnover margin, they were number 17 last year, plus one. Head coach is Zach Taylor. He is going to call plays this year. Uh, offensive coordinator Brian Callahan, who was Oakland's quarterback's coach, and defensive coordinator Lou Anerums. Is that how you said? You have any idea? I'm going right. to go with you. New York Giants defensive backs coach from last year. They are a projected favorite in two games this year. Their over-under is six. The juice on the over, minus 125. The juice on the under, plus 105. Um, look, Zach Taylor was the Rams quarterback's coach. Anybody that had anything to do with the Rams coach? Sean McVay. It, well, Sean McVay. Is it McVay? Oh, McDermott's the uh, the. But we did this last year where we were so confused. In the, in it's Sean McVay. I got it this year. Total offense uh, yards per play. They were number twenty four last year, five point three. Defense number twenty nine, gave up six point one yards per play. Uh, they started three and one last year with the NFL's number seven ranked passing offense. They lost Tyler Eifert to injury immediately after that. Then they lost their second string tight end, and the passing offense went in the tank, right? They were so successful throwing to the tight end. And then when they didn't have their guys, they finished the season three and nine. And I think that's more along what this team is. Um, I don't know whether to trust Zach Taylor. I don't know. How, he's going to be calling the plays, but I don't think he's ever done that. So... You know, they, they drafted left tackle Jonah Williams to shore up the offensive line. He's out for the season. Uh, they signed guard John Miller. They drafted linebacker Jermaine Pratt and defensive tackle Ronell Wren. They didn't really make any major offseason acquisitions. I don't feel like they improved a whole lot. Again, the over-under is six. They're only favored in two games. I've got them at five and 11. Got them two and 14. I think they win those two games. Ooh. They're, they're favored. I don't like this team at all. At I, all. I think that head coaching matters in the NFL. Yeah. I think this this whole, for a while, it was everybody wanted to get the next Belichick. And so they hired Belichick assistants. But nobody hired, like, three guys from one staff for Bill's team. They hired, like, the second in command. And then the next year, somebody hired that second in command. And the next year, somebody. Last year, four coaches got a job because they knew Sean McVay. I think the Bengals got the fourth of those coaches. At yeah. some point in time, we have to stop trying to. I will say this. It's better than what we thought it was going to be because the rumor was that Hugh Jackson was going to get the job. Yes. Now, this guy is, yeah, you're right. They'd be an 0-16 but I, team with you. But I don't know what to trust with Zach Taylor. I don't I don't know what to make of this team. I'm just going to have to wait and see. I don't. I have I don't, no the idea. The guy's never ran a locker room before. Like, now, I let's say it, he knows how to draw up plays. Let's say he knows how to call plays. At some point in time, you have to be able to – you know what's great about Sean McDermott? Not Sean McDermott. Sean McVay is is he hired a defensive coordinator that is an old Wiley veteran that used to be a head coach and said, I'm going to let you run the defense, and I'm going to trust you Yeah. because I'm not going to try to be all things to all people. You know what the Bengals did? They hired the fourth guy to Sean McVay – and then a defensive backs coach to run the defense. And we don't know who's the CEO in the building making hard, real decisions that are going to affect games. I think those things matter. I yeah. just do. I think it's going to be really hard for them to win football games. I think Andy Dalton is maybe the most stable player on this roster. And, and he's like the model of 6-10. and 10. But at the same time, I don't, I don't know that... I think it's going to be really hard for them to win football games. I, I can understand that. I can AJ absolutely Green is out, understand out that. for a couple for a couple of games. We don't know how bad that is. I know he had surgery. I know he tore ligaments. Like I, I don't know that he's just no, going to come back and be AJ that, Green. They're saying that he's he'll be back. You know, early in the season. That's right. Point. Week but, four, week seven. I don't I don't know what that means. No, there's but, no. But but what does he look like when he comes back? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what does the team do? When he gets back, like, or up till then, like, are they are they completely out of it by then? Have they won any games? I, I don't know the answer to any of that. 
No, I, I agree. So I've got them 5-11. You've got them 2-14. This team scares me. Yeah. yeah. I think they're bad. 